Hi everybody, welcome back to another renovation video. Now it sure is nice to get back into the cottage. Now I've had a, a short spell where I've hurt myself basically. I've got an old injury in my back and uh, those of you that see me haul those stones, yeah, I did overdo it. And uh, consequently I was laid up for a little while. Still on light duties, but it's good to get back in the cottage and get going again. So I'm slowly easing myself back into the renovations. I've got some work to do inside. Obviously no heavy lifting for now. I will see how long that lasts. Got some tidying up to do. I've uh, been meaning to do it for a long, long while, but with the schedule, it's been difficult. So I'm gonna do some tidying up, make some room, make some space. I've done a little bit of organizing inside the cottage. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just get this underway and uh, get back to it again. So the first area of concern is this open barn hanger. Now, in previous videos, me and Jack worked on it for quite some time. We've got it all nice and clear and clean and empty. But, you know, things happen, life comes along and, you know, you don't have enough time. So I've chucked everything in there. I'm going to load up the rubbish onto the trailer. That can go to the dechettery, the dump, the tip. And I've got lots of wood in there, some I'm going to keep to burn. And just basically go through it all and sort it all out. So, yeah, a long time coming, but I'm actually doing it now. I'm now going to sort through all this wood, some that can't be burnt, obviously that's going to the tip. The bits and pieces that can be uh, used as firewood and kindling will go to this place here. This is the wood storage area, it's only temporary, it's not staying but for now I'm going to be using it for this winter. These are interesting finds, that's what come out of the cottage. Carpenter's scribe, auger piece for drilling. Yep, they can go back in, clean up. Now the objective of me doing this is to be able to either get a trailer and a car or two cars in here. It's getting frosty now, so you know, when we have to go out in the morning, it's nice just to be able to pull your car out with no frost on it on it. So yeah, we're getting there. So I've got pace myself. It's, I'm still a little bit sore in my back. But uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the hardest thing uh, with me doing these renovations really, is uh, you know, I want to go at it hammer and tong, but I injured me back over 20 years ago. I've got some slip discs there, so normally, you know, it, it's fine, but I do know when I've been pushing myself and it gives me a little reminder every now and again, which only puts me back, a, you know, maybe a couple of weeks and then I'll build up again, but it is frustrating, as anyone can tell you that's got any issues like that. But, you know, you just got to work with it and do the best you can. But just do a little bit every day and before you know it, you're back to full speed again. Wow, where did all this stuff come from? <laughs> the trouble is, I, I can't bear to throw anything away because I know eventually, it might not be within one year or two years, some of this stuff I've had for maybe five to 10 years, but I have used it. Whether or not that's the best way, I don't know. But anyway, that's me. I do like to keep things and reuse and recycle. But every now and again, you just gotta stop and take stock you know, when it starts slowing you down, which it was getting to the point where it was, you have to have a tidy up. So yeah, you can't just keep doing work every day and not leaving enough time for the other little things. Now some of you might be thinking, what's that? What's this huge iron and wooden thing here? This is the farm's press and it's for making cider. It's the apple press. So what they would have done, they would have loaded it into there, put these timbers down and ratcheted it. This is a big ratchet that goes round on a, a, a shaft. You ratchet it down, you clamp it down and the juice of the apples comes out the bottom, apples and pears. So yeah, it weighs an absolute ton. It's not getting moved anywhere soon. But it does look like it has lent over and collapsed a little bit. We'll have a closer look at that shortly. 
but just the other things around there shutters off of a window that was in the living room this is an old table here now I've got the legs for this and I do plan to refurbish this now this is like the coffee table in the cottage it's a beautiful piece of wood so I will be doing that in the coming months so it's like a uh, uh, it's quite hard to explain really if I find the legs I'll show you what it is but there's some iron work and some other bits and pieces that attach to the base Certainly looking better, but we're not quite there yet. I've got one load on the trailer ready to go. Get that emptied, come back and finish it off. Have a secure load. So making good progress, still a fair bit to go, but yeah, just got to pace myself. I can feel it in my back already, never mind. Right, okay, let's get this bit done. And by the end of this, I want to be able to get my car, or at least the trailer in there. So I'm going to pick some wood up on the trailer tomorrow. Um, and if it's going to rain, I need to park it under some shelter. So that's the method in the madness. Okay, let's get going. No time to sit down. Oh, brambles. Bane of my life. I only like this one. I've got to lift it. that's looking better I've kept the black plastic because I'm going to lay that out and that will suppress the weeds and then we'll get some stone on top of that that's for the rest of it off to the tip it goes uh, rambles hate them that was growing out of the mat. God. Let's just hope I ain't like the Tin Man tomorrow. <laughs> I 
forget to work smart, not hard. Not too hard anyway. Okay. Load number two, ready to go. So this is before, to so this, it's not finished, still got a little bit of organisation to do at the back but that's the bulk of it done. So I've managed to get the car in there and the trailer, got a little bit more tidying up to do admittedly behind the car and the trailer so I can get them back a bit further but for now that's the trailer and the car out of the way which makes it a bit easier for the rest of the cars to get in and out so yeah I'm really pleased with that it was a, a long hard day's work I won't lie to you but uh, yeah I achieved it so I'm well pleased with that because this area was really really winding me up I won't say what it really made me feel like <laughs> but anyway it's back to how it was now you know all that hard work we done initially me and Jack it's all nice and clear and empty and I promise I will keep it this way now what I also plan to do in the coming weeks once I'm back to full health is sort the the drive out is getting very muddy now we need to get some stone down um, yeah the caravan needs to go back under the hangar but I can't reverse on the grass yet because it's too soft so that's going to be covered in stone as well but you know these things take time still got to finish off the rest of the drive up there but I am slowly getting there I'm also going to move that sink and that cement mixer tomorrow because uh, yeah I'm sick of looking at that as well Okay, let's head back into the cottage. We are losing daylight. Let's plug the lights in, see what it looks like. <laughs> My friend Steve made that. Clever chap, very festive. In we go. Now these ones are LED off the battery, they're not very powerful. Now this was our old tree that we've had for probably 25, 30 years. The lights have broke, so I thought why don't I stick it outside the cottage, make it a bit more festive. There we go, Santa's grotto is ready. Santa needs now is some helpers. Talking of which, I've got someone penciled in to help me with the roof. So as soon as I'm able, I shall um, get set up. We'll start stripping the roof off and getting it tiled in. Well, that's to come. Um, I've got the heavy beams to go underneath the fireplace. They're a bit too heavy at the moment. I don't want to risk twisting me back again. I've got those to go in. Got to level the fireplace off. Yeah, there's lots of other things you know that I can be getting on with. There's some pointing inside, there's some cracks. Okay, we're on the other side of the front door now. Now I did previously mention about there's a settlement crack running through there. That can be refilled. I can dig that out. That's not too strenuous at the moment. So I'll get that done. That'll be the next job. There's a little bit up there as well. It's where a lot of the water was running down. If you look back on a previous video, you see me rebuilding the other side of this wall and of course on the inside, so yeah, that was quite a mission that one, so yeah, and I've also been thinking about this door, I know it's out of shape, I've been speaking about lifting up the lintel, bringing it up to a higher point, but this area here is so precarious, I think, you know, over the years because of all the damage, I'm now starting to think to myself, well, I could square the frame off, you know, it's not got to go into this uh, lintel, it goes to the one at the front. So this lintel, I'll just step back, isn't as bad as the one inside. So I might be able to make quite a thick frame and get a solid oak door in there. I'm not going to have any glass in it. I'm going to have a solid oak door in keeping. I'm going to have some really old, nice hinges on them, on the sides, got a source there, might even have them handmade. Now I've recently found a place that does ironwork in the traditional way, 
brilliant forge it's not too far from here so maybe I'll give him a visit and see what he's got on offer maybe I can incorporate those so yeah I think I'm gonna go for a solid oak door on this one and I don't think I'm gonna raise the lintel although I might change my mind but that lintel is actually solid I've tested it you know it's really hard it's not going anywhere now this year in our house because we've got kittens that are very adventurous we haven't been able to have a Christmas tree inside so what we've done we've put it on the outside of the living room window so at least we can see it. it's not fully done yet she's just started it today so yeah that way the kittens can't climb up because I know they would if it was inside at least we can look out the you know out the living room window and uh, we can see our tree we've had to be very strategic where we've placed the decorations this year inside nice and high up but they have started to climb up and we've also had to remove all the plants out of here so let's head back into the grotto <laughs> still got lots of tidying up in here to do now in the last video me and Jasmine went to a brocant I purchased this light now it's not an ancient antique light but it's still very functional it's a vintage light so what I plan to do is this will eventually go in the entrance area here so as we come in we'll be greeted with this fabulous light now the thing that I liked about this is not just that it gives light around the edge it's actually glass on the bottom so we get a nice light below it as well so that should light up this area so it looks something like that in situ I think that's in keeping definitely get it rewired I've just took it apart there's a glass piece that goes on here so you get the light from below and all the way around now I'm not sure what configuration I'm going to have with the stairs yet might be a quarter turn might be a full turn not quite sure so but whatever I do with the stairs this is definitely a great addition 38 euros it wasn't too bad it's got to be rewired but it'll be worth it and on a stormy night you know sit back do a few sea shanties and for everyone that's ordered a calendar just double check that you've ordered on the right option if you live in the US and you live in Canada that's one option the rest of the world Australia Europe is another option so just double check if you haven't received it yet because they, they're sent out very quickly you should get them within the week so if you haven't check your order or you won't be charged if you've uh, misplaced the order but just go over to the other option like I say if it's USA and Canada that'll be one option the rest of the world and Australia will be the other option okay that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, thanks for your patience and i'm not back to full speed in the cottage yet but i'm getting now and uh yeah we'll soon get back on track thanks bye for now